Consider yourself under my protection. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? What's but a smile on that face? I'm touching myself tonight. How could a woman possibly fight for this? There are two things I want to do. I want an American cheeseburger. <laughs> What's up guys, it's here from the DC vs Marvel podcast and this is another car um, review kind of video because uh, you guys seem to like the car videos more than the comic book ones although don't worry, there will be a lot of comic book ones coming out there as well I wanted to do you guys a quick review of Car Cologne uh, Car Cologne is a uh, premium kind of brand um, basically like a, a you know car scent um and they come in like you've probably seen these on like social media and stuff there's like this version here which is like basically like a diffuser and um this kind of ties up to your you know your, your kind of wing mirror uh, your uh, rear view mirror and you have the other type which is the standard kind of ones that you see at any kind of shop which is like these card ones right um i've bought quite a lot of different car colognes and i always started off with these card ones here uh, always kind of this is my favorite one the velvet oud um, but I also um, I've collected a few of them different types this time I decided to go for a for a whole like new lot and actually I'm just about to open this one which is called the lost cherry interestingly um, but I decided um, after like watching a few YouTube things not specifically about car cologne but actually about um, just about the uh, this kind of type of diffuser that I thought, you know what, I'll actually get this kind of diffuser type. And basically what it is, if you if you see, if I can get this in focus, there's basically some oil, right? And the oil is, um, is in this kind of glass bottle and it has a wooden diffuser um, and there's an area basically where it opens, wooden diffuser gets filled with oil, right? And um, then obviously it diffuses around the car. Um, the smell is decent, I would say. I can't remember what fragrance this is, but the smell is decent. But the one thing that I would say is I would avoid this as much as possible and get these instead. The reason being is, is that this, um, that so when you have an oil-based kind of uh, fragrance, there's two ways to kind of get it around your house, right? So um, if you, um, I don't know whether you guys have seen the ones that you have at home where they have like, they'll basically have a bottle like this and they'll have these wooden sticks kind of sticking out of them. Um, and those ones are the ones that you see all over the place. They're kind of called reed diffusers, right? So you basically have the oil at the bottom and the, and the kind of the, the fragrance diffuses up the wood and it basically spreads it around your home. The other type there are burners, where basically you have the oil in like a little pot, the pot heats up and then it diffuses the oil around your home. The problem with this is that basically there's no connection between the wood and the oil, right? What you're relying on is you're relying on this glass bottle heating up, right? And you're basically allowing those kind of particles of oil to soak themselves into the wood and then that wood is going to diffuse around your car. Now, as you can see, on, I don't know if you can see on my fingers, my fingers are kind of, you know, they've got oil on them, right? So if you touch it, they're oily, and when you smell it, you can smell it. But when that's in the car, it's an extremely subtle fragrance. It's so subtle that it's actually like you can't even tell that it's there most of the time. However, with these, this, you open the car door and you sit down, you're like, right, that is a nice, like, cologne kind of smell. Um, you know, this, the Velvet Oud especially, I, this is like a very kind of like Eastern, um, you know, Arabic kind of smell. Um, and you can actually smell these and it smells like you've got something in your car. Um, I had my parents come over uh, from abroad and I had one of these in the car and they didn't even know it was in there. Um, they were just, you know, uh, they didn't know there was a fragrance or anything. They just asked me what was that thing hanging off the, hanging off the rear view mirror. But um, a couple of weeks later when I had one of these in, the first thing my mom said when she got into the car was like, oh, what's that smell? I'd like to get some of those. So guys, I love car cologne and I would recommend it to everybody to get that. But I would say get these ones over this. Let me know what you think in the comments there down below. Do you disagree with me or do you agree with me about the car cologne there as well? And what's your favorite fragrance? Until then, guys, we'll see you again next time.